Hi friends, my name is Maruti and I'm the co-founder of Kraku. I've taken CAT multiple times and I've scored 100 five times. But taking examination gives me a lot of stress and anxiety, especially in the last one or two weeks in the run-up to the examination. I feel confident that I'll do well in verbal and uh, quant, but I'm always very terrified of LRDI. I feel that uh, I actually sometimes dream about it that uh, I scored zero in LRDI and my scorecard became very viral and people were like making fun of it. Uh, all of this is just a negative spiral where I continue to overthink and all of this overthinking gives me a lot of stress and anxiety. But I still feel that I will continue to take the examination because my lived experience of how I get over that anxiety is something that I can really convey to students very well and that will help them get over their own anxiety. Similarly, I made one video about how I completely messed up CAT 2020. I think I solved three questions and there were only 10 minutes left, but I somehow managed to salvage the section. And again, that experience, I explain in great detail in one of the video, what I was thinking at that point of time, what are the tricks that I used to salvage the examination. All of these lived experiences, uh, I feel are very important when I talk to a student. But this year, I have decided to not take the examination because I, the stress and the anxiety with the exam coming closer is impacting my role as a teacher. I'm not enjoying teaching as much as I used to do because the examination is coming closer. We started Kraku because I love teaching. And I feel that the last two weeks are extremely crucial for students and I have to be really uh, at my best as a teacher. And this stress because I'm taking the examination is definitely impacting how I perform as a teacher because of which I have decided to not take the examination this year. Now, all the things that I said in this particular video are uncomfortable things. These are not the things that I would share with a lot of people. But I wanted to be honest and transparent about it because I can understand the stress that students are going through as the examination is coming closer. And I wanted to tell you that it is very common to feel stressed out. But remember that CAT is just one examination. It doesn't define where you end up at or who you are as a person. On that particular day, try to not hype it up too much. Try to be calm and composed and give your best on that particular day. You should come out of the examination hall thinking that this is the best I can do. And if I give my best, this is where I stand. You should have that kind of a feeling. Also be kind to yourself. Try to uh, not put a lot of pressure on yourself or try not to judge your performances in mocks or otherwise. Try to be calm and composed. If you're a student who's preparing for CAT and if you're looking for good videos to watch in the last one week to CAT, I can give you a list of three videos that will help you quite a lot. One is the CAT revision playlist that Siley has made. That playlist contains four videos. Two are on quant, one is in verbal and one is in LRDI. Uh, you can just go, uh, search on YouTube, CAT revision playlist by Kraku. The second video I would recommend you to watch is the 200 plus arithmetic questions. Like many of you know, arithmetic is the most important topic in quant and we have explained 200 very useful questions in arithmetic. Definitely watch it, it will be very useful for you. The third video is the quant formula uh, marathon that we did last weekend. It is a seven and a half hour video where we first explain a formula and then solve a question based on the formula. It goes on for seven and a half hours and we explain close to 40 most important formulas for CAT. All of these three videos will be very useful for you. Again, I wanted to just reiterate, especially for students who are feeling stressed out. Being stressed out is very normal. Everybody goes through it. I also go through it. But remember that CAT is just one examination. Okay, try to give your best on that day. Don't hype it up. Don't make it too big. It is just one examination and you won't even remember it, say three, four years from now. All the best. My best wishes are with you. I hope you do well in the examination.